What is good? We're back. Got my guy Big Co here, ready to go. Good to see you. Yeah, man. Hope, hope to see you regularly. Regular? Um, that's what my, my daughter says about everything. What do you want? Regular? <laughs> Mid. Regular. All right. Today, we are going to hit some dynasty trades from the people. Okay. Um, okay. Actual so, trade. Actual dynasty trade. Love it. Uh, from the people here. We got our, right now we're using some Patreon uh, questions, uh, but we will all open the floor to you. And for now, maybe if you could throw them at the Twitter DM at the FF Dynasty on Twitter, th- put it in the DM. We need as much information as possible. Okay. You know, team rosters, league rosters, requirements. All that kind of stuff. If you have Scoring. a trophy or not, yeah. how long the league's been going right. on, need, who's, who's the treasurer. If you want to get your shit answers, we're going to need them details. Right, right, right. Um, and I'm not saying we're going to answer them all, but we we're definitely going to get to a couple from from you guys. So make sure you send those over there if you're not a patron, because if you're a patron and, and we like we, we want to talk about one of them because we're always answering them. But got it. You know, we can throw some out here. But all for right. this purposes, for the first one here, we're going to go uh, with the patrons. Uh, you ready to go? Yeah, let's do it. All right, some dynasty trade action. So, uh, the first one is uh, Scratch. He has uh, Trevor Lawrence, Daniel Jones, Yimmy Yi, one nine, one eleven, and he's actively trying to upgrade QB two. Should I be? Um, he's got offers out like Danny and Jimmy, and both picks for Mahomes, and then another one's Danny Dimes and one nine for Herbert. That one's been sitting. When was a heat check? Uh, but dude seems like he's checked out for a while. Team was the runner up last year. Young, good wide receivers. Barkley and Javante at R- RB. Bunch of depth. The, the, I'm looking at the roster. It's pretty decent. Whoop, there goes the mic. <laughs> Busted it. <laughs> so I guess we're going to hold it for a minute. We're holding it. Um, <laughs> starts 11. So depth is, is more of a premium. You know, the, he's, the, the follow up at the end is basically saying, how do you view a team that's competing like this that needs a second quarterback? Do you build around it or do you just kind of hang out and keep doing what you're doing and try to, where do you go try to upgrade that QB two position? Right, right. I like where his head's at to try to take Jimmy. And if you got to take, like, I think the first thing you said was he put Danny Dimes and Jimmy G and some first and together. Two first. Going after Mahomes. Sure. I love that offer. What, yeah. what could go wrong? You know, so dude sure. says no, right? Um, I like the idea of having this year going into this year, you feel so much better about Daniel Jones than you did last year. Right now, currently Jimmy G's paid. He's starting quarterback. So that's a huge bump. I mean that like pulled him back out of the grave kind of thing. Yeah. All that Jimmy does is win. Problem is he's won with the Patriots and he's won with Kyle Shanahan's system. Mm-hmm. And now, obviously, this is a Patriots-esque system over there. Sure. You would think they have a plan. They obviously have Monster and Devontae Adams. Just shipped out um, Waller, but they brought in, what's his name from the Patriots, the wide receiver? Jacoby. Uh, Jacoby. So, some fam- obviously, familiarity with the system there. So, you know, and Josh Jacobs comes back on the tag. They got some players. You, you saw last year for one game when they got rid of Carr – um, the dude came in the backup, looked great for one game. That's usually like what backups do, but he was Stidham. Stidham came over for the Patriots, mm-hmm. quote unquote, knew the system. Not there anymore, yeah. though. Uh, he, well, sure. Jimmy's but, an alpha. You can't have any more Patriots over there. <laughs> Jimmy's yeah. an alpha. Jimmy's an alpha. I think Jimmy's alphaism will be tested this year. I think with the money they just gave him, the guarantees they just gave him, I think he's obviously locked in for 17 games, no matter what. I think this is hard to trade. I, the, I love the idea of packaging Jimmy up and making something off of well, quote unquote almost nothing. You know he he was there. He was he was with the with the Niners. They were rolling. He gets hurt. Niners suck. He gets healthy. They come back. Niners are good again. He gets hurt. Niners suck. Draft Trey Lance. They play this whole rigmarole the last mm-hmm. couple. Of, you know. So yeah, the super flex value of Jimmy G has just been an absolute roller coaster. I like the idea of trying to go up and 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 make that. You know, trade up because his question was he laid it out and he goes, "Should I be? Of course you should be. I don't know if you get peak value on Jimmy before the season starts, or you know, we get closer. Maybe especially you see a preseason game where you know the Raiders got a lot going on. They got their starters in. Another team may or may not care. 
The Raiders' first, you know, first couple drives may look razor sharp. Jimmy G's value might spike. You might not get good Jimmy G value until we see him in that silver and black doing things. I like the idea of packaging that. I don't mind. Only problem with Jimmy is, is if they do happen to take a quarterback in the draft here or trade up. Great point. You, you get, you might, you might lose. Great point. Any yeah. leverage you have. He's got the offer out there now. Yeah. You know, going from Patrick Mahomes. If that's me and that's the offer you mind, you don't mind going, I'll send that same exact offer. For, you got to send him for all the top. You got to send it for Josh Allen. You got to send it for Burrow. You got to send it for Jalen Hurts. You got to send it for Herbert. Herbert. Burrow. You know Trevor. He's yeah. got Trevor. Does he's it, got it, Trevor. He's can't, got Trevor. Can't trade not, for him. Right, but you know, so that's you got to send that same offer out for the top five guys. When once you start to shake it up like that, just go. And if you're like, well, I don't know if I really want Josh Allen, or you know, hey, I don't know if I'm a Hurts guy. It doesn't matter. You can take that and move. If you can trade him again, right? You, you don't, you're not you're not stuck with him. But if you find one person who likes that, you know, diversification or adding the depth, they like, hey, well, I got I could take Daniel Jones and. Daniel and um, Jimmy, Jimmy G and these some late picks. and some picks and that my guy a little bit more going on. Or if you, if you know, if you don't really get what you, you know, get a, a the return you're looking for on that trade, you know, maybe pull Daniel Jones out of it. Daniel Jones in a great system. Do you trade all that for Lamar? Mm, maybe not. Week one, when Lamar's on the field somewhere, blowing it up probably. But but Daniel Jones, you know, he's I'll got. Give you, I'll give you Daniel, Jimmy G, and one nine for 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 Lamar. Okay, so you just pulled a pick out of it. Just, just pull one. Pull just pull, pull the other out. first. I can't. I, I I can't argue with that. Um, I think that there's so much more elevation to Daniel Jones's game that could come from the Giants. Sure. You know, you take you take Daniel Jones right out and you plug him in another team. Maybe not. But what they had going on last year with those minimal weapons on the outside, the minimal weapons that he had, and, you know, a lot has been made about his, you know, he didn't throw for a lot of yards, didn't throw for a lot of touchdowns, but he was a a, a QB1 because of his rushing. And you basically took a guy who was – you know, I'm not. I'm not saying I was around this. I wasn't around the stadium and practice fields every day. But you, from the perspective of, I think his head was probably hung a little bit. You know, mm-hmm. chin down. I'm. Be, I'm. I'm. I could be a bench. I could be a backup for the for the rest of my career here. If this. You know, they didn't. They didn't take his option. You know, the team declined his fifth year option. Like, oh man, this ain't even working out. And then they completely revived him. And you know, good for him. It didn't take seven years like Gino. Right. But. Well, just, and, and it's it's telling that the guy who just got to see him for a year was like, all right, we will we'll bring you back for, no for a couple of years. You oh, know, for some we, serious I, money. And we can I can work with this. Basically, I like, yeah, you know, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I, I, my 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 pretty much final answer would be I'm OK. I don't need to really do anything. I feel fine yeah. right now and I'm going to wait till I can do the right thing. And if it doesn't happen, I'm fine with playing Daniel Jones. I think a starting quarterback in Jimmy G and two first, even if they're late, but in super flex and, this, you know, even this year, there's a couple of fun tight ends, blah, blah, blah. I think I'll the, give you Jimmy G and both the picks for Lamar. Sure. Easy. Easy. Yeah. I bet that's what I was like. Two ones and Jimmy G for Lamar, you might be fishing. You might you might be yeah, you might you have, are fishing. You might have a fish on you the know, hook. Might, you might you, you might know. have a fish on the hook. Yeah. You know? I I'll give you I'll give you Jimmy G and those two for, those two late ones for Justin Fields right now. Well, how can you get up you I, know? I think the next question is is then how can you get up to one three from the one nine and the one eleven, you know? To go get a quarterback. To go draft one of these quarterbacks. Yeah. Well, first, I've got – now that, you know, you work your way, you take – you pull Jimmy – you pull Daniel Jones out of it if you don't get one of the top five quarterbacks. You send those two picks and and Jimmy G for Justin Fields. And Sure. I'm sending that right now. Yeah. Right. Well, what would you – yeah, sure. What would you trade for uh, for the one, two, or one, three? I think think you give both of those – just start by firing both of those picks and Jimmy G right up there. Yeah, but I got to try for the fields first because well, I, you know, what I mean? yeah, yeah, that's yeah. What you, if that's you got what you, you're backing off. That's what you like. If, if right. you want the you struck fields, out, you struck out on the top five quarterbacks. Yeah, then you then you're like, hey, let me go and let me send those picks. Well, you could do that for Fields and Watson. You know, exactly. Uh, he doesn't. I know he doesn't personally doesn't like Watson. That's so fine. He, but the idea is the same. He's thing. a Browns yeah. fan, so right. I think he's kind of out. He doesn't like what he see. Yeah, send those for that. That's a great, great area of quarterbacks, and you strike out on all that, and then. You know, because you're thinking, I'm like, well, I'm taking fields before I take that first quarterback mm-hmm. this year. 
And if, you know, hindsight could be, you could be, we could be sitting here 12 months from now and be like, well, that was obviously Anthony Richardson or it was obviously CJ Stroud or it was obviously Bryce Young. Well, it's not obviously right now, but in the 12 months, you are like, well, what, one of those quarterbacks might be, you know, top five dynasty pick next year. You just don't know which one. Right. And, well, and, and two of them might be like six rounders next year. Cause when it's, when you swing in them, if you swing in a miss. You know? Yeah, if you're competitive, I would say Kyler's probably a nice – could be a buy right now because it seems like generally people are kind of down on him. No doubt. I'm a little I, down I don't, on I don't, I don't enjoy him personally right now. I'm a little down on him myself, um, so that's, but, that's why his name didn't come out yet. But it could – He's. I think he's – when he plays fantasy football and is healthy, he's For sure. a very, very, very solid quarterback, and the value's down. The other one would be – I think you should send both of those first for – Kyler Murray yeah and if they probably say no but you got to try and then maybe Jimmy G in the two ones for Kyler he's got he should be in that conversation sure I, I think, that's, every, I think the value is a little more down on Kyler so sure I don't think you're as fishing with that you know right I'm down on Kyler but when he gets back on the field he could right. be crushing um, and then I I guess one more shot I might take to try to maybe elevate my quarterback for a cheap price to say that, I'm, I'm mostly sticking with Daniel Jones, but to give you some options of some ideas. Okay. What do you think about Tua? Just throw the 111 out and see if you can grab Tua. You got to try that. With just the one, giving up the 111 for Tua. Even you gotta, if I had to give up Jimmy G, even if I had to, Jimmy G in 111. Fine. Jimmy G in 111. Fine. I could give a fuck less about Jimmy G in my fantasy life. Here's if I thing. need him, I can use him. I know. But I know. See you later. I, exactly. I'm, exactly. No doubt. The thing, here's the thing about here's the Tua. Here's the thing. <laughs> the Dolphins just said, hey, he's going to be fine. That, well, with there. the moves they made. <laughs> right. With, <laughs> with the moves they made. Go pick up Mike White. Mike and White. And just be fucking chilling. Mike, you got Mike White starting this year. I hope not. Hope hope nothing happens. <laughs> but Mike White's probably starting this year. You got to you gotta think that's happening. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I, I the, the Dolphins just, you know, said – Gave, was, you, was gave you a little vote of confidence yeah. there, feeling a little stronger. Be interesting to see if the ADP changes a little bit over the next two months with Tua. Maybe he climbs closer to the first top of the first with the reassurance here, I like rather it. than the middle of the end. Um, you I'm good? not taking him up you, there. You ready to move out? Move yeah. on? Yeah, we can go to another one. All right. Miles Sanders, a 24 first, and David Montgomery for Saquon, the 211 this year, and a 24 second. Say that one more time. Sending sending Sanders a 24 first in Montgomery. The dude that asked the question sending away Saquon. Uh, he, uh, he would be the one uh, receiving Saquon, I believe. No, he's giving him away. Okay, so he, yes. So you're sent this dude, uh, our friend, is sending away Saquon in two seconds. A, a 2-11 and a 2? I, I, I think it's the other way, but. Let me confirm. Okay. So go ahead, read, read it again. Saquon, the 211, and, and a 24 second for Miles Sanders, Montgomery, and a 24 first. Completely random 24 first. Mm -hmm. um, the, the one problem here is we don't know if it's a, a super flex, so that super flex does dial in the value of that 24 first, um, especially in super flex for 24 first where you got two quarterbacks that people are going to be gaga over, mm -hmm. um, which, of course, happens every year. Um, not like this. Not like 24 will be with at least two. The first 1-1 one, one and the 1-2 are probably going to just be hot fire. Like, right. For really sure. hard to obtain. Yeah, well, this year it was supposed to be Bryce Young and then C.J. Stroud stepped up and Anthony right. Richardson But none of them boys are on the level of Caleb Williams. And, Agreed. And, and May May has to kind of hold it there, but Caleb Williams has been kind of holding it there. They, so. Yeah, Williams would be the first pick in the draft this year if he right. came out, would most likely. Um, all right, so that being said – I like I like the the first round pick this and getting David Montgomery and Miles Sanders in a, in the vein that Miles Sanders goes to the Panthers and probably is going to get a ton of volume with a rookie quarterback not nearly the offensive line ecosystem that he just left from the Eagles but if the for some reason that the Panthers were to take Richardson now you're the defense can't even key in on, a run, on the running back. They can't even try to tackle the running back. Just saying the Miles Sanders had a little value bump because he could have been in a different – to I, me. He got a value bump regardless, I think. It, it just in general, and I don't care who the quarterback is really. I agreed because they're, they 
I actually let, probably let, like it less with Anthony Foreman. Richardson. With Foreman gone, I like him just fine with Richardson. Well, I mean, I like him just fine, but it's but, uh, but it's Stroud, just, Stroud could Stroud could probably he, he, and Bryce Young could probably check it down to check him a down's bit a little more. better, and they're pretty neither one of them are stealing rush rushing True. touchdowns from him. Good point. Good point. That's, I'm a big quarterback rushing qu- touchdown stealer from the running back guy, and I didn't even <laughs> pick that up as it was, but. You know, you you open up holes if Anthony Richardson is uh, the quarterback. Sure. There's, 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 there's no push doubt about it. With that. No doubt about it. Anthony Richardson, if he starts the season as a starter and he plays 17 games or 15 games, he's probably going to at least have six to nine rushing touchdowns. Stroud, Stroud, and Stroud, and what's his name? Not doing that. Maybe, I mean, Stroud could, but it's to be determined. Well, he's not going to do it like that. He's not going to just be going quarterback draw from the five like Josh Allen all the time. That's not. So, would you rather have Saquon in the twos or Miles Sanders, Montgomery in the first? I said I like I like that deal getting Montgomery because now he's on the Lions. You got so you got two starting running backs that are not the caliber of Saquon. However, you got the first round pick. The, I th- Saquon came back. He was healthy last year. He's awesome. Last year, I just, you know, you, I traded. I got a first-round pick and Pickens in a super flex league for Saquon last year. It feels like you could get more because Montgomery and Miles Sanders don't have that name equity right now. Yeah, seems like Sanders got the bumps and Montgomery stayed pretty the same because he was already kind of low and people are worried about cannibalism there well i think montgomery should be getting a bump because well, he should williams, be but i don't think most people are right but jamal williams leaves and jamal williams isn't the pass catcher that, Demo- that montgomery he's is. also not the running back that montgomery is true no doubt that's what i'm like that's an upgrade for the lions oh i agree 100 percent. so it's an upgrade for the lions and so i think montgomery could easily win you a league here and he's going in like the 12th round yeah yeah maybe a little earlier than that so i mean that that really is a, that's a tough trade but at the same time if barkley gets hurt you're not getting that trade it, you know, if Barkley gets hurt one more time, you're not getting that trade. Now, does does that mean do you take that trade and now you you're disinterested in those two running backs and now you got to go trade those again? But you pick up a first round pick and again, if this is super flex, another dart throw at the quarterbacks for next year is huge. Plus, mm-hmm. you got Marvin Harris. What uh, is it, Marvin oh, Harris Jr. Jr. Yeah. And there's a running back that's supposed to be awesome. So that's four picks right there. A couple, you know, picks. you know. So I think that. Any 24 super flex pick right now with those quarterbacks being random. Now, if, if it's the, you know, if you don't play for the first round pick and it's the, you know, worst team gets the first pick and the best team gets the last pick, yada, yada, and you're like, dude, that team's won three out of four years. If it's a late first, then I don't count it. You got to not count it as high. But if it's completely random, you know, you got to, you got to factor that in, especially going into 24 with that, with Caleb Williams and, Marvin Harrison, who everybody says is the best thing ever, and a, and a couple of good running backs, and May if May holds it together. Yeah, you know I'm not going to play that. Hey, next year's class, man. You know I don't want to play that card, but for, there's definitely three or four potentially top notch guys. Sure, especially the, you know give you throw a couple quarterbacks. And I mean, there. really, anything can happen with even that best team. So you know it's, it's anything, less likely. So you use it to, less to likely, try to knock it down a little bit. But correct, anything correct. could happen. Um, I don't know. I'm, I came in leaning the Sanders Montgomery twenty four side, but I like getting I like getting the best player in the deal, and that Saquon's clearly the best player in the deal, clearly. Um, and two two twos. Well, he's um, I, 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 he's giving away Barkley, mm-hmm. so it's not like he's vice versa. Like, well, do you want to give away a first and then gamble give away yeah. the two running backs in a first and gamble giving that back getting Barkley? You know, I mean, Miles Sanders can definitely have Barkley like production. If he, if he, and you know, not consi- not as consistently as Barkley would have, but he can put up the ceiling that Barkley can put up. I think. Oh, um, um, I don't think he's got Barkley. I mean, I'm not. Ceiling. I'm not saying like the reason you're taking Barkley is because Barkley can perform at the ceiling. Sure. Most games more where where Miles yeah. is going to be, you know, yeah. a little bit more like this. But I like the offensive line. I like the coach. I like the staff. Uh, I, I kind of like where they're going. I hope. And, I hope we like where they're going. It seems like we like where they're going. Is there's really it's him and Chuba. There's not a whole lot of competition. Sure. Um, and you know I I like Chuba, but I think it's going to be Miles Sanders backfield here. Um, and they're probably going to have a rookie quarterback. So I mean they're going to have a rookie. They're going to have a so, rookie quarterback. Um, that's a good, that's a fun trade. That's that's one. Of, if you really have to argue back and forth about it, like that's a good trade. You know, that's a good if you if you're like, hey, man, if you keep going back and forth and you're like, oh, well, like, well, I mean, really, it's, at it's the, a really good trade. You're giving back two twos and you, 
I, me and Jason had been trying to trade Saquon Barkley in a league and like it just, we weren't getting anywhere near the value that you think Saquon Barkley should be worth. So, I mean, if you can get a first and two, one potentially really good every week starter and then Montgomery who could be, could be a great every week starter. Oh, I thought you were going to say and then Miles and, and then say, Miles Sanders. Like I, <laughs> Montgomery could easily outscore Miles Sanders. He year. certainly could. It's more likely that Miles Sanders score, I'm you know, scores more consistently just because there is the caliber Swift. of guy like DeAndre Swift. True. You know, if Swift True. is healthy, he's definitely going to eat into some of what Montgomery does. Um, and he's just a dynamic guy. If Swift's healthy, Swift's, Swift's going to score, you know, 15 fantasy points a game if he's if he's limited right. touches. Right. Yeah. He, he scores points every time he right. touches the ball. So I, I guess I lean that side. All right, let's keep it moving here. Jordan goes with not the most details like like a few more on this one uh, but the one dj Moore and the one five for the one two so um he doesn't say that it's super flex but we're gonna assume that it is super flex he says he has swift and his other running backs are guys like singletary kamara jeff wilson ain't the best one two is going to be Bijan in my league I got DK Lockett, Higgins, Hollywood, Claypool, Tolbert, Zay Jones as well. See, the one two going to be Bijan in my league, you know, it makes it tough because, you, you know, originally it makes it easy. Originally it's tough because, like, well, you know, is it super flex because the value of one five changes dramatically if you throw those quarterbacks into that sure. top notch area. But then, like, well, if it's one two and you know it's, you got if, if Bijan being the one two, however, you come up to that conclusion. Whether it's like, oh, well, super flex and somebody wants to take a quarterback or some, if it's not super flex and somebody's taking JSN or for any reason, whatever, whatever reason, right. B. John's number two. Now you got five and DJ Moore. I mean, you got to do that to me for me. If it's B. John guaranteed. If, yeah. I mean, even if, I mean, I guess potentially even if it's super flex, just if, well, even if it's not B. John, like obviously I like DJ Moore a ton, but going up to that two spot is you're either getting Bijan or the quarterback of your choice. If it's super flex, like I, I feel like you got to do that given that the NFL draft hasn't even happened yet. There's really nothing that's going to happen on, you know, draft day to change my mind about Anthony Richardson's fantasy value. Sure. You know, we already know he's going to go in the high, he's going to go top half of the first round, no matter what. And so, because there's just there's no chance there's not a team out there that <laughs> sure, can't, you know. Sure. So like there, he's going top half of the first round. He's probably going top ten. He could go top five. Nobody would be blinking an eye at it now. Um, and then obviously you got C.J. Stroud. Could at this point, who who knows? He could be the number one pick. And and then if you know if um, the guy from Bama who I just cannot Bryce remember, if Bryce Young I can't I forgot his name three times already tonight if Bryce Young's the first round pick for the Panthers then the Panthers just moved all that up to go say he's my guy and you can't not be in love with Josh McCown these days you know this you mentioned love, the staff yeah, earlier yeah. you can't not Great be in staff love over there and, with what they're doing so whoever quarterback so if that's all of a sudden the beauty of it is is for super flex draft picks the one four is Bijan and you got one of those three quarterbacks for sure. And this dude's got one five. Mm -hmm. And, you know, again, if it's not super flex, you got to do that anyway. You got to make that trade to go up to get Bijan at one two because for some reason you just got gifted that you don't have to pay for the one one. Right. So if Bijan, it's not, Bijan could potentially be the one one and not in super, super flex in right. super flex. So if you're getting him, if it's if it's non super flex. Well, I'm saying he could be the one one of a startup in non super flex drafts. Like, good, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, Great point. You know. Great point. So if if Bryce Young is the first pick in the draft, that is a beauty of the value of one four of Superflex even going up because Bryce Young, people have cooled it. The he would have to be he if he's hits, if he if if Bryce Young's a stud, he would be the young he would be the smallest quarterback to ever to have ever been a stud. Mm -hmm. And I like court you know i like what his coach said about him saban said well he's done everything we needed him to do and he's always been short doing it yeah. you know like he's been he's been the same size since he walked in and he's been great and that's been the truth and so i'm pull I, i'm pulling for him i hope he does great but he would be the farthest down that line of outliers but if he's first if for some reason the panthers are like we can't not take this guy anthony richardson's already an athletic stud like he's 
farther along than Trey Lance, and Trey Lance got given up three first round picks. Yeah, two you know two plus the first they already had right. to go and be a top three pick. Anthony Richardson's farther along than that guy, and played in SEC. You know, didn't play in even Division Two. Played real football. So, <laughs> and if. You know, so like it, those quarterbacks there, you can't do, you can't take any, it's, it's Stroud's all of a sudden everybody's favorite guy ever because he, you know, he's poised and you can't put a price on poise. Yeah. Being, you know, and being cool and calm. And now does he, is he going to see it? And is he going to, is price, he going to. Price is as poised as they come. I, I know, but he's, he's shorter than me. Like, can you, can you, if, if CJ Stroud is that quarterback that played against Georgia. Sure. Every week. He's going to be a first round startup pick next year. And if, if Bryce Young, as small as he is. I don't is, really hate either of the situations that's that those what guys I'm are going to go into. That's what I, I, I'm not. A, I hate the Texan situation. I've already been on. Oh, I'm, see, I like that. I, they got a good O line. They got you a gotta, good staff. You got to show coaches. me. They're adding good pieces when did around they get them. A good O line. They had it. That's not great, but it's okay. not terrible. Okay, backpedal it's, off it's, of that. It's at least middle back of the pack. It's a off decent of that. O line. Give me just give me at least give me a year to see that D'Amico Ryan's can come in there and just be and just settle the they'll, ship. They'll, they'll, that they'll ship, be fine. That ship is so that ship has got just one little piece sticking out in the water because it's ninety yeah, percent of it's under the water. Either one of those guys landing in either one of those top two spots is fine. I'd much rather my quarterback go to the Panthers than the, than the Texans. Yeah. Next question. No. Difference. Make the trade, no matter what. Make yeah. the trade. No difference to me. Big no. difference. Big difference. <laughs> Huge difference. One team, the Panthers have a quarter, have an owner who's just like open checkbook. Let's go do something. And the Texans ownership just been trying, just fouling it up for I years. I mean, they, they've definitely been fouling it up. But there you go. They, Did they, they got, change? Did they is, sell it to they got a nice, new owner? Mm. They got a nice they setup got a going great, in here. Great head coach. They got a, they got a good they head got a, coach, got a, good staff. They changed everything all up. The offensive line is good. They've, they've brought in weapons. They traded away their old guy. They have a good running back. They brought in a nice little stable of running backs. They just picked up Dalton Schultz. They got they got nice little parts and pieces. I need to see. They brought in Bobby Woods, the right? They brought in Bobby um, Woods. That's they got Mechie coming back. They hopefully, got Nico. Um, it's just it's a good it's a good little group. The defense could be good, and not only that, they have I mean, a, a bunch of draft capital, tons of draft I, capital. I mean, they ain't got a receiver on the roster to scare anybody. Well, right I now. mean, they could they could easily take Stroud and JSN and be, be fucking awesome or or. Bryce and JSN and sure. be chilling, you know, I'm or they, or that. they get, I love Bobby Woods, but he ain't scared. Or they get nobody. Will Anderson on defense and they got their quarterback on offense and their quarterback on defense. And D'Amico Ryan can, can just, Ryan can Ho- go coach that at hopefully former but, Alabama stud right up. Yeah. And that, and that, uh, dynasty super flex rookie quarterback is stay on your bench all year. They mm, just, they don't, I, don't I mean, so. I like, I don't they, think they so. don't have any, those wide receivers ain't scaring nobody. Big, 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 uh, disagreement there for me disagree Texans, Texans Agree to disagree. Moving, moving in a good direction. oh i hope so i hope so i mean i'm not even going to be pulling against them for this take to be right it's just it's not even a take it's the, the front office is the ownership group has been in the way of success and sure I they gotta get out that. of the way can't argue you that. gotta show me they got before i start investing my dynasty capital in that organization i gotta see the organization get out of the way and let the football people do football yeah, maybe. first step was made. Uh, maybe there's obviously there's plenty of steps you just mentioned that I have no idea. I have no idea about. I love the D'Amico Ryan addition. 